I'm standing in the Heritage Hall. It's also known as Building 104 and also called the Green Building. This building was built in August of 42. This building was used by the cadets as a relaxing center where they could come listen to music, play cards, read books. It stayed that way up through 46 when the base was closed because World War II had ended and there was not a need to train pilots. The base reopened in 1951 and this building became a library. If you look on the floor, you could see where the book racks were placed and they sat for all those years. It stayed a library up till the early 80s and then in the early 80s they converted it to the Child Development Center which it stayed that way up until 2000. This building became the Heritage Hall where you could come look at history of Moody Air Force Base and the Flying Tigers and the 93rd Air Ground Operation Wing history. One side has uh, Moody Air Force Base early history with Flying Tiger history. It then goes into the pararescue men display. We have aircraft that have flown here through the years as well. And on the other side of the building, like I said, we have the 93rd AGAL information of their history dating back to where they were a bomber wing. A lot of people don't know that the 93rd AGAL received the McKay Trophy in 1957 for a mission where they flew nonstop for a month to show the Russians that we did have nuclear capabilities with our bombers. The Heritage Hall became a pet project of then Colonel Chad Franks when he was a 23rd Wing Commander here at Moody Air Force Base. He wanted to see this as a Heritage Hall to where enlisted officers and civilians can come see the past history of Moody Air Force Base, the 347th Wing when it was the parent wing here, the 23rd Wing and the 93rd AGAL. Despite the fact that the Green Building is 75 years old, it cannot be registered as a historic building because it has been modified too many times through the years. In one corner of the building, you will see a mannequin wearing a replica of a 1943 Women's Army Corps, also known as WAC, uniform. Here at Moody Air Force Base, we had about 109 WAC by December 1943. One of the interesting items to pay attention to on the uniform is the Pallas Athena on her collar. This insignia was chosen because Athena was the Greek goddess of wisdom, courage, inspiration, civilization, law and justice, mathematics, strength, war strategy, the arts, crafts, and skill. Moody Air Force Base is named in honor of Major George Putnam Moody. Uh, Major Moody was a uh, AT-10 test pilot when the AT-10 Wichita was originally coming online. He crashed during a test flight and Valdosta found out about this and they learned that Valdosta Field was going to receive the first AT-10. When they found out that uh, Major Moody was killed, they pretty much adopted him and petitioned to have Valdosta Field change to Moody Field at the time. The air park here at Moody Air Force Base is named in honor of the 43rd President, George W. Bush. He was a cadet back in 1970 and went through the pilot training program here at Moody Air Force Base.